Hello everyone. So today in this video and a couple of videos, we will see how images are formed when we take a concave mirror and a convex mirror. So today we will see what will happen if the object is placed at infinity. By infinity, I mean like really, really far away. For say, for example, you have a concave mirror, so a small concave mirror, and you have the sun really, really far away. It's 150 million kilometers far away. And the thing is, the main, the key thing is that, see, if an object is at infinity and extremely far away, then all the rays will be very, very nearly parallel to the principal axis. So almost parallel rays. What can, what can we do? We can consider, like assume or approximate all the rays to be parallel. And then let us see how the image will form. Now, let me draw parallel rays. Yeah, we've got one parallel this, that looks like this and something like this okay now what happens to a ray just parallel to the principal axis upon reflecting by a mirror hmm. now if you remember things correctly in the previous video I told you that if a ray passes which, which is parallel to the principal axis gets reflected and yeah that's right passes through the focus hmm? do something like this yeah. this ray will pass through the focus and what about this one well it doesn't really matter if it's above the principal axis or below the principal axis it just passes through the focus again so it will go something like this yeah there you go and this will be the image because now what are the properties of this image? Let us discuss them. Okay. How will our image look? Now, first things first. That will, uh, let us consider the if it's real or virtual. Okay. Now, if you think about it, rays are actually coming and are meeting at a point. There's no, you know. It's, there's no case that we look at it and it appears as if it's coming from somewhere else. The rays are actually meeting at a point. Therefore, the image is a real image. Okay. And what else can we do? Let us consider, say, if the image is inverted or if it's upright. Now, it turns out that the, if you really really look zoom into this so it will not be a point it will be some a spherical small very small spherical disk something like this and this image will be inverted so this is a circle you can't really differentiate between you know inverted and a up, upright circle but it turns out that this is inverted second property we can write it it is inverted now, let us, what is the size of this image? Now, okay, if it's, a, it's a very, very, very small disk. So we can approximate it at it as a point. And we call this a point sized image. Okay, point size. And where, where is it formed? It is clearly formed at the focus. And this formed at the focus so F this is what happens when the object is at infinity so now let us move the object close, somewhat closer towards the mirror so let us say that our object is somewhere over beyond the center of curvature not at the center of curvature but somewhere beyond it now what will happen let us draw the ray diagrams now we can, uh, which special rays can we take? Now one one way we can take that it will parallel to the principal axis and it will, that's correct, it will pass through the focus. So something like this. The next thing we can take is that it will cross to the center of curvature. Okay, so it will cross to the center of curvature and what happens if a ray passes through the center of curvature it 
it just reflects backwards it retraces its path in one sense and why we know this that you know if we draw the tangent and this would like triangle be perpendicular to the normal so this way if it goes like this it will retrace its path effectively retrace its path now this is where the head forms so if we call this something as a and this point as b so this is where say let us say a dash will form and where will this b form and of course it will has to form on the principal axis so it will be somewhere above it because the object is pretty straight and let me call this point b dash so that's how our image will look so if an object is placed um, somewhere beyond the center of curvature its image will form at between center of curvature and the focus now let us again find out what are the properties of this image is it real or virtual yes it's real because two rays are acts going from a point and they're actually meeting like okay, physically meeting at a point so this image is for sure real so is it inverted or upright or erect clearly it is inverted so this image is inverted but the arrow is it's erect and then it's inverted the image is also inverted what is the size of this image well the size of this image has reduced if you compare the magnitudes okay this length ab and a dash b dash size had reduced so we call this a diminished image diminished in nature it has reduced its size and where is the image well it's somewhere bit uh, not exactly between but between center uh, between center of curvature and the focus so it if you shift this it might fall you know somewhere ahead and back but the key thing is that it will lie between somewhere between the center of curvature and the focus so you can write it between c the center of curvature and f so in this video we have uh, learned two cases what will happen if the object is at one infinity and somewhere closer to the mirror beyond the center of curvature in the next video we will see two more cases and let us find out what will happen so let us meet in the next video